In September of 2017, Equifax announced a data breach that exposed the personal information of 147 million people. This was considered one of the largest digital burglaries of that time. All eyes were on Equifax, consumers, customers, partners, regulators, and governments. And you joined Equifax after that breach of historic proportions. What happened? That day, September 7th, 2017, is one that I'll, I'll never forget. But I wasn't even at Equifax. I, I was at Home Depot at the time. Um, my third year in, coming after the, I came in after to help rebuild that program after their breach. And so you can imagine with that level of chaos, just being a customer of Equifax, um, what it was like to be at Equifax, an employee there. Um, so it was it was a punch in the gut for for the company, and it and it shook the organization to its core. There was a multitude of factors that that led to it, um, a variety of technical gaps in terms of patching and certificates and segmentation and things like that. But I think the the essence of it, the the the, the root cause, was a, a failure in the culture of the organization at large, and and that's what we've been focused on since day one. Tell me about leadership. How did you lead through a traumatic time of this kind? Gosh, it was it was so traumatic. Um, it's somewhat like uh, I don't know. It, it's like a mud run, um, but at marathon length that you're running at full speed. You know, you start off, you're sprinting, everything sort of feels good. You're like, oh, I'm gonna I'm gonna crush this thing, um, and then you turn the corner and there's a uh, 100 foot rope that you have to climb or monkey bars that you have to get over or swim that you have to do. There's always another surprise around every single corner. Um, and what, when you're going through it, you've also got an, an organization, a workforce that's largely demoralized. You know, they've gone through something, uh, a watershed moment that's been very traumatic to them, especially when you look at it from a security standpoint, you've got these professionals who have given their lives to this discipline and everything is wrapped up into it. And then all of a sudden, just overnight, you've got uh, everyone in the world is pointing their fingers at you. I mean, we had people that would literally spit on our employees uh, as they were walking out of the office. It was, it was so bad. Um, what I do is I try to take it one step at a time. I, I think that uh, being authentic is, is very critical to being able to help lead a team. Um, I'm not a big fan of you know corporate speak and and having things come down from on high that you know is very robotic. So so being authentic is one of the key things. But then just as importantly, it's it's establishing strong mile mar markers so that people can see that the efforts that they're putting in every single day are actually making progress. They don't have to be huge things, but little steps at a time. And, and what those do is it builds up confidence. It builds up this up this level of commitment and camaraderie amongst the team so that you can tackle any hurdle that you have um, in front of you, as well as be able to address the, the multitude of surprises that will inevitably hit you as you're going through uh, an issue like this. Ours was extreme because it was, you know, in the wake of this breach and it was a major transformation. But digital transformations are having, happening in organizations all throughout the world right now at, a, at an extreme pace. And so I think a lot of the things that we did here could easily be translated to other organizations today as well. Leadership matters most at these moments, and thank you for sharing those perspectives.